Call the meeting to order. Roll call, please. Mayor Rankin? Here. Vice Mayor Walter? Here. Councilmember Hawkins? Here. Councilmember Galeen? Here. Councilmember Anderson? Here. And Councilmember Wall? Here. Councilmember hey. Woolridge will not be with us this evening. Thank you. We do have a quorum, right? We do. Since I got in a hurry. We're trying to get this going as fast as we can due to the fact that it's a Christmas spirit and all my staff said, give us a prison, let us out of here by 615. Uh, we're not going to make that, but we're going to get close to it. Tonight, we will start off with a moment of silence and we'll go into the Pledge of Allegiance. As we go through the moment of silence tonight, let's keep those brave soldiers that lost their lives, the six of them, let's keep their families and our pro thoughts and our prayers. This is the holiday week. We need to also, you know, thank the good Lord that we're here. Thank our troops for making it possible for us to be here. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And since this is Christmas spirit, we'll have a call to the public. So if Santa's in there and says he's going to give us all a raise, come forward, please. This is a call to the public to comment on issues within the jurisdiction of the town council. Council rules limited comment to three minutes. Individual council members may respond to criticism made by those commenting, may ask staff to review a matter raised, or may ask that a matter be put on a future agenda. However, members of the council shall not be shall not discuss or take action on any matter during open call of the public unless the matters are properly noticed for discussion and legal action. I have no request, but I will. Come on up, Ruth. Hand Lisa your request when you get through or whatever. Okay. Seasons greetings, everyone. I'm here without notes tonight, so please bear you're, with me. You're here without what? Without notes. I'm not reading from notes. Good. I'm here to, I'm here to say something about the Wi-Fi at the community center and the library. I stopped going there about a month ago because um, my connection when I would u try to use it would go off um, every once in a while and I'd have to try to get back on again. It was a very slow process and um, I was wasting a lot of time. Um, I found out that the, um, that the service is provided by the county and um, I found out through one of the staffers of the, um, the um, uh, Parks and Rec Department who works there in the afternoon that there's a way to check the connection, the speed of the connection. So I checked it there in the room in three different places and it came out to about three out of, out of a score of, a good score of 10, let's say. Uh, and then I went downtown to one of the uh, retail shops in town where the owner has her own Wi-Fi in her, in her, uh, her shop. And I tested the speed there, and the speed there was nine. So um, I found out what, the, what her service uh, business or is, who, who provides her service, and took it to uh, the staffer there who works at the community center and, and asked if he would pass all of this information along to, I think it's Brian uh, Hughes, who's in charge of the whole, um, the, whole, the whole building out there. And I'm hoping that something can be done about it. I wanted you to know about it. Um, so that you can kind of keep tabs on on the progress of making some improvements. Um, I, I I doubt if it's just my computer. It 
it may be that it's a slow connection. Maybe you can do something about it. And if it's just a matter of getting uh, another service that might not be too expensive, but that works well. Actually, what happened today was that I went in there. There was no one else using the computers in there. Uh, I had trouble getting on to begin with, but I moved. And once I moved, I got on and stayed on the whole time. I was there for, I don't know, a couple of hours, I think. And, uh, and when I mentioned that to the staffer, he said, oh, well, there's, there's nobody else here, and maybe that's why. So maybe it's a, a, um, an issue of it not being able to accommodate very many people at once. In any case, I'm hoping that um, that that can be looked into and that something can be done about that. So thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public who'd like to speak? Uh oh, are you from the public tonight? I'm from the public tonight. Okay. Hello, my name is Lisa Garcia. I live at 623 West 14th Street, Florence, Arizona, and I would like to make sure everyone knows that there are plenty of board and commission seats available on all town and boards and commissions. We have openings on six of our boards and commissions. There's the Historic District Advisory Commission, Planning and Zoning Commission, Parks Advisory Commission, the Industrial Development Authority, Library Advisory Commission, and the Arts and Cultural Commission. Um, this is a way, great way for anyone to become involved in the community. It takes very little time and it can be lots of fun. So I encourage everyone to come down and visit the clerk's office, pick up an application and become involved in your community. Thank you. Your, your three minutes are up. <laughs> You know, you come to a meeting and uh, hear laughter, that's good when it's due. Uh, I want to thank all of you for just kind of putting up with me tonight because I'm in the Christmas spirit and I hope everybody else is. But, you know, we got to remember that Christmas is just not a commercial holiday like it's been out and made to be here recently. And you all keep that in mind as we go through the day and talking to your kids and grandkids and everything. Kind of. Tell them what Christmas is all about. And uh, that's my call to the public. Public hearings. Hey, oh, I, do I hear any more public? Seeing none, I'll close call to the public. Public hearing. Item six, six A, public hearing of resolution number 156815. A resolution of the town council of the town of Florence, Arizona, proposing a one-time specific amount in excess of the state imposed expenditure limitation and setting a special election for May 17th, 2016. Mayor, members of council, this is your first of two public hearings. Um, your next public hearing will be on January 4th. Um, after you hold that public hearing, the town council will adjourn to a special meeting and vote on this item. The item is a resolution that would allow for $15 million to be spent that is more than the state imposed expenditure limitation. The materials that have been provided to you <coughs> are materials that we would use in advertising the town's elections. It's for the publicity pamphlet, including the mayor and council letter to the um, citizens of Florence that is also attached. I would ask that everyone review those materials, make sure that you're comfortable with those materials. If you suggest any changes, to those materials, please contact me before the next meeting so that we can have a final draft to council of our backup documents. Does anyone have any questions? Any member of the council have any questions, Lisa? Hearing none, I'll open the public hearing at this time. Does any member of the public have anything you'd like to say? Seeing no movement, we'll close call to the public or call the, yeah. Public hearings closed. Item B, presentation and acceptance of the town's comprehensive annual financial reports, impact fees, acceptable use policy report, and annual expenditure report for fiscal year ending June 30th, 2015. Mr. Gabe Garcia will make a presentation. Good evening, Mayor, members of the council. Uh, we have Marilyn Mays from Henry and Horn here to discuss the. Um, the CAFR, the Development Impact Fee Report, and the AELR report. 
which is our annual expenditure limitation report. Um, and we're here to answer any questions. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor and members of the Council. Um, like Gabe said, Henry and Horn did perform the annual financial audit, and you have the CAFR before you. Um, we are issuing an opinion on those financial statements, and it is an un unmodified opinion, which is a clean opinion of those financials. Um, one of the things that changed this year was that the town received over $500,000 in federal funding, and that um, caused a single audit, what we call a single audit, which is an audit of those federal funds. And that audit is, um, the reports on that audit of the federal funds is in the back of your CAFR that you have. Um, you did receive, I believe, over $600,000 in um, uh, federal dollars, which was over that threshold. You also received uh, unmodified opinions on the federal dollars funds as well, on those major funds. On the financial statements, they are um, comparable to the prior years, but there was an accounting pronouncement that was implemented this year that um, had to do with the pension. So your financial position, your net position was revised from last audit and um, in order to include that pension expense or that pension liability in there. And I think your financials were adjusted downward by $7.8 million. You will see in the current year that you have an $8.8 .8 million liability, pension liability on, the, on your financials. And that was due to the implementation, like I said, of that accounting pronouncement in the years past. That information was just disclosed to you in the notes to your financials. But now you will see them on the face of the statements. We also issued the um, annual expenditure limitation report as well as the development impact fee report that um, will be posted probably on your website. Do you have any questions? Any member of the council have any questions? Becky, you're taking a look at it? You have it, okay. So you say we're in good shape then? The, fa the statements are fairly presented. Well, I thank you very much. Thank you. Mayor? We need, we're gonna have to, who's, yes, Kim? Um, would like to point out one thing. Um, in the uh, the audit, there was a schedule. The schedule of findings. We had one uh, weakness that was pointed out um, within the department, uh, and that was uh, it related to user rights in the town's accounting software. And so we've addressed that issue. We agree with the statement that was issued by Henry and Horn. You can find that in the audit. Um, and basically it's just restricting the access um, to management. So we've addressed that, we're going forward and it's a fairly simple fix, but I just wanted to point that out for you guys so you know that that, that was one weakness that was pointed out. So we're taking care of it though? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other comments? Thank you. Thank you. I need a motion. I'll make a motion that we accept the audit reports from Henry and Horn. Second. We have a motion second to accept the audit report. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the question. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item C, presentation of appreciation to Jeff Mosier for 25 years of service to the town of Florence.
All right. Well, 25 years, long time. But Fire Captain Mosier, Jeff to me, uh, been with the town since, what, 1990? 1990. Jeff began with the town as a public works employee back in 1990. Became a full-time firefighter in 97. Promoted to fire captain in 2007. Jeff has served twice as interim fire chief and as chief in 2012 and 2013. We pay good. The growth of the department has kept up with Jeff. Jeff came here, he was a little bit thinner than he is today. He uh, worked hard, took an interest in the fire department while he was working for the town. And back then, I think we almost strictly volunteered back then. He's seen a lot of changes come up. Uh, his in-laws were all here, Florence, and I knew them. I knew them before I knew him. But he has been a dedicated employee to the Florence up and down the ladder he goes, and, but he stuck it out. And you know, it's, it's nice to have a, a friend who spent almost many years here that I have <laughs> and that uh, has accomplished a lot in his service to the town of Florence and the people have really received a lot from his service. Do you have anything, Chief, that you'd like to say? Okay, that's it. <laughs> You know, I, I've known Jeff for at least 20 years. And for many years, Jeff was Florence Fire. You, you couldn't separate the two. And it, it was always good to see him out on the calls because when he showed up, you know, you had, a, you, good, you had good help there and you're gonna get things taken care of. So I always appreciated that about you, Jeff. And uh, I, I think back at that high school fire, we spent all night on that thing. Uh, that was probably 15 years ago now, but uh, just good solid, good solid work, Jeff. Appreciate you very much. Today's equipment's a lot better, a lot more. It's a lot better than what we had back there. I think uh, the breathing apparatus would take a wet handkerchief, put it over your nose, and go in. I mean, we were, we were, we had some rough times back then getting equipment, but things have come forward, and it's because of Jeff working with the department has helped us out tremendously. Uh, see that guy who's second from in? When you're getting back where I need to talk to him. He's not paying dang attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> now look at him. He's looking now. But Jeff, on behalf of the town of Florence, we'd like to present you with this plaque for 25 years of service. Lisa, where's the other? You gave him the card already. No, no, no. Give me that back. No, 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 no. No, you don't get to pocket it. We're going to give this to Mama. This is a gift card for putting up with uh, the town all these years for taking him away from you. You blew that one, buddy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Jeff, again, on behalf of the town council and myself, thank you very much for all your dedication. We appreciate it very, very much. Presentation by the Greater Florence Chamber of Commerce recognizing power tax titles and more LLC as the business of the month. I'll wait until the mayor sits. Go right ahead. Good evening, Mayor, Council. Uh, the Florence Chamber of Commerce recognizes the power tax titles and more this month's business of the month. You know, joining the chamber this past uh, June, Gary and his team recognized Florence as the best place to open their second location, or other locations in Santan. Gary came to the chamber wanting to know how his business and uh, knowledge, business knowledge can help our community. He attends a lot of our chamber events, goes to some of the town events, volunteers, 
his hours and also wanting to know how he can join committees with the openings that Lisa Garcia just gave. There's your <laughs> opportunity, Gary. <laughs> All right. So uh, he is committed to the town. He wants to see this town grow. He wants uh, this town to be the best place to live, work, and play. So please join me in congratulating Power Tags and More as the Business of the Month for December 2015. I would just like to say, first of all, I'm very um, humbled. I want to express my gratitude for, <laughs> uh, for this. This is really a great surprise for me and, um, and my family and our entire staff. But I, I just wanted to ensure that people do, in fact, know what our business is. And it is your local MBD. We are the motor vehicle services here in Florence. Thank you. You know, folks, I've known Gary <clears throat> a little bit longer than most of you probably have. Uh, even the first time I met him, I think we started talking about how to get you into Florence when I was out at your house that day. And this is one of the things, you, we're the cap, county seat, and we didn't have this service. This is a tremendous service to be given the citizens of Florence, Santan Valley area, even those on the eastern part of the county that had to go all the way to Coolidge or Casa Grande. Now they can come right to Florence and get it done. And I can tell you they're working on getting the where they can do their driver's license down here. They can't do it yet because they have to be in business so long and prove themselves, even though they prove themselves in Santan. And it's, you know, bureaucracy in the state that kind of go to hand in hand. But I know that you'll be successful in that too, and that's really going to help out the, the citizens of Florence. We really appreciate it. And I know we had a heck of time finding a building for you, but uh, we looked at more than one, I guarantee you that. And uh, we're just proud of the heck of, to have you all here, and I think you're doing a great job and a great service to our citizens. Well, Thank you. What is your address? 495, the one here in Florence, 495 North Pinal Parkway, Suite 105. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mayor. Uh-huh. Thank you. Stand advertisement time. Item 7, Consent Agenda. All items on the consent agenda will be handled by a single vote as part of the consent agenda unless a council member or member of the public objects at the time the item is called. Item A, adoption of resolution number 1571-15, a resolution of the town of Florence, Pinal County, Arizona, approving and authorizing Mayor Tom Jane Rakin and town manager Brett Billingsley to act as signatories for the transaction of business on the Police Evidence Trust Fund at National Bank of Arizona and declaring an emergency. Item B, adoption of resolution 1572-15, a resolution of the Town of Florence, Pinal County, Arizona, authorizing Mayor Tom J. Rankin and Town Manager Brent Billingsley and Finance Director Gabriel Garcia to act as signatories for the transaction of business on all of Town of Florence bank accounts and declaring an emergency. Item C, adoption of resolution number 1573, a resolution of the Town of Florence, Pinal County, Arizona, accepting a limited, limited non-exclusive access easement from CMEX Construction Materials South, LLC, and declaring limited liability company for egress and ingress and egress purposes related to the Sandstone Solar Project and authorizing execution by the town manager of supporting documents. Item D, approval of the Florence Gardens Mobile Home Association applications for special event license for January 7th, January 14th, January 26th, February 4th, February 18th, March 3rd, March 17th, November 17th, and December 6th, 2016 at Florence Gardens Mo Clubhouse. Item E, discussion approval, disapproval of change order number three to the library recreation complex design build contract with Low Mountain Construction, increasing the guaranteed maximum price by $39,651 to equal $13,178,876 and reimbursing $6,960 from the CIP fund to the HER fund. Item F, approval of the Municipal Effluent Purchase and Sales Agreement with Adamsville 650 LLC, formerly Dobson Group Limited Partnership. Item G, approval of the October 3rd, November 2nd, November 12th, November 13th, 
November 16th and November 23rd, 2015 Council Minutes. Item H, receive and file the following Board and Commission Minutes. Item I, the September 10th and October 8th Arts and Cultural Commission Minutes. And the October 15th Planning and Zoning Commission Minutes. May I remember, Council, that is your consent agenda for this evening. Does any member of the council have like anything they'd like taken off the consent agenda? Yes, I'd like to have item E removed from the consent agenda. Any others? I'd like item F taken off the consent agenda. Okay, with item E and F off the agenda, we need a motion. I'll make a motion that we accept the consent agenda as read with the exception of item E and F. I'll second. We have a motion and second to, to approve the consent agenda with the uh, exception of item E and F. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the question. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item meet John? Yes. Uh, I recall back when uh, this was originally approved and uh, we had quite a discussion about all this canal being built and all, I, so I, I don't understand what's going on here. Can we get further explanation? Mayor and members of council, um, recently when we reviewed the files, it was noted that um, some of the skid work was done by the um, Public Works Department. When we went back and cross-referenced the minutes, we noted that the authorization for the work was issued to Low Mountain Construction. Therefore, we're trying to go back and make sure that we have our records matching what happened with how the money was spent. As well as after the contract, after the, um, after the building was opened, um, we did receive a additional bill for skid work that was done. And so this does get us up to date with that skid work. It does make sure that the modification from the HER funding back over to the project is noted. Um, the additional IT information I'm going to let Brian speak to. Yes, Mayor and Council, um, the IT thing was just a, a miscommunication between the Low Mountain staff and the town staff. Um, each thought each other was doing the work and paying for it and so when we got the bill in August we'd already expended those funds so that's just a, a small uh, $3,000 item that we just need to clean up and, and get paid for. The good news is the project is open and there is no, nothing more going to be presented to council. This is your final change order. Um, items that are pending, um, we will note for the record that there was one item being the soccer field that will be reseeded in March or April of this year and the warranty period will take place from that reseeding forward. Correct. I guess I still don't understand. Did the uh, did our uh, public works cost us more than uh, Low Mountain? The way that the contract was issued originally was that the work was awarded to Low Mountain, and then I believe it was that our public works could do it cheaper. So what we are doing is we are reimbursing HERF to do those works. We're not giving that money to Low Mountain. We are reimbursing HERF for the work that they did. It shouldn't be removed from HERF funding because it was, it was based on this project. And so you want to make sure that that money remains with your project cost so you know how much the project actually costs. Sounds like we overran it by 30 $39,000. Sure, I would say we overran by $39,000, yes. Okay. Yeah, I guess, you know, 39000 is a lot of money, but on a project that size, I think it's pretty close to where it... Well, this was presented to us, you know, we had quite a discussion about putting that canal in, I think. Well, I think that canal then also taking out of the... I don't think the canal was so much involved in this as the destruction of the concrete ditch that was running down here. We were getting ready to put the road in, if I remember. A lot of that had to do with the hearth money. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where some of the confusion came on it, John. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Any other comment? Do you need a motion on that? Well, let's go ahead and just take F, because I think we can get off. The reason I had F put on, I'd like to personally thank Mr. Dobson for getting this taken care of with the town. Uh, a lot of you weren't here when this was originally done with the, I think it was 19, when was the original contract, 1984 or 94? Um, 1990. With Neely? Um, no, with Neely. With Dobson, the original contract that we looked at with Dobson. I, so that'd be 1984 when we had the 83 flood that wiped out our sewer plant that was down on the river. And when we got into it, uh, we needed 40 acres. Neely Farms donated that 40 acres with a stipulation that they got all of the groundwater or the wastewater. At that time, uh, it wasn't a lot of water. There weren't that many people in town. But it did, uh, it, it saved the town from having, but we didn't have the money to go out and buy it, buy the land plus build the plant. Were you with us then? No, you see, that's, I, darn, I've been here a while. <laughs> but that was the original agreement. And then we've gone through with, uh, this is our second agreement with adoptions, is that correct? This will be our second agreement. Um, the original agreement that we are redoing right now that I am aware of is tied to a development agreement yeah. with the Dobson. And uh, let's go in and change the parameters of that agreement. But the Dobsons have really worked well with the town on their property down there. And they they really gave us a lot of breaks on it that we weren't realizing that we were getting. Uh, with them taking the extra water that they didn't need and storing it for us. Now we've tried to work all of this out and get it going, but if it wasn't for the cooperation and working with the Dobsons, we would uh, we'd still be negotiating. So, Mr. Dobson, thank you very much for cooperating with our staff, and we really want to thank you for this. Okay, now we need a motion on E and F. I'll make a motion that we have... Uh, approve uh, E and F. I'll second. We have a motion and second to approve consent items E and F. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the question. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 8, new business. 8A, ordinance number 644-15, discussion, approval, disapproval of an ordinance of the town of Florence, Pinal County, Arizona, relating to the privileged license tax amending the town tax code by decreasing the rate of use tax from 3% to 2%, approving penalties for the violations thereof and providing for severability and designating an effective date. Mayor and members of council, what you have before you is the um, uh, ordinance that will reduce our, our use tax from 3% to 2%. Um, our finance director, Gabe Garcia, did receive a call from the League of Arizona Cities and Towns that expressed a concern that we were out of compliance with state laws, meaning that your use tax has to be, cannot be higher than your sales tax. We have went back in, talked to them, and made sure that we have supplied an ordinance before you that will correct the, that measure. And that ordinance only requires one reading because it is a regulatory ordinance. Um, Gabe Garcia will be happy to answer any questions if you have them. Do you remember the council on the question? <coughs> <coughs> Hearing no questions, I'll need a motion. I'll make a motion to adopt ordinance number 650, uh, pardon me, 644-15. Second. We have a motion and second to adopt ordinance 644-15. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the question. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. The motion carries. Second call to the public. Anybody from the public have anything they'd like to say? See no move, we'll close it. Becky, call the council. I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. John? Uh, yes. This uh, last month was my uh, one year anniversary on the council. In uh, uh, a very rewarding experience, I uh, want to thank uh, 
uh, the staff, uh, the town staff, for their friendship and cooperation that they've given me over the years. Uh, and I certainly want to thank the members of the council for their cooperation and help and guidance I've had. But uh, most of all, I want to thank the citizens of Florence. You know, it's, it's been uh, uh, surprising to me uh, the, the warmth and friendship that I've received from people uh, who uh, come up and talk to me about being on the council. Uh, you know, I was a little apprehensive, uh, thinking people might start throwing rocks at me, but uh, that hasn't been the case at all. Just the opposite. And so I, I, I really appreciate all the all the friendship and help that I've received over the last year. And, uh, I certainly want to wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Karen? Nothing. Yep. I'd just like to uh, also wish everybody happy holidays and a great new year. And I also appreciate the uh, work the staff has done this year. Uh, we've had some outstanding events and, and we've made a lot of progress. And I, I just want to let everybody know that I appreciate it. Care? John, really already a year. It's hard to believe. Time flies so fast. Um, everything that we've accomplished over the past year, all of the work together that we've all done, and it's just important, especially around this time of year, to stop, take time with your families, enjoy everything that's going on around. I'm really looking forward to 2016 and seeing what's new for our town and working together with a vision of what we all plan on accomplishing. We have some amazing events coming out that I saw our Parks and Rec has already started advertising. So if you're looking to make those New Year's resolutions along the lines of being more active or involved, great opportunities there as well as to participate in some of our missions. Well, I get to go last as usual. John, uh, you were talking about being having rocks thrown at you if you want to. Uh, get that accomplished, just come hang around with me for a while. Uh, there'll be a few of them. Look at what we've done in Florence in the last year. <coughs> got our library open, got our aquatic center open, we got our road out to the highway open. The voters put a lot of faith in us when we went to the election to get our special election so that we could do these projects. We have a lot of work still ahead of us. We have a special election coming up next year that the citizens are going to have to support us again so that we can continue on with a lot of the projects we were able to start this year. Lots of things are, when we're in government, we want to get things done in a hurry, but we have found out that we can't. I think, John, you probably run into that. Uh, yeah that there are certain laws and rules and regulations that government has to go by and we do it. We stay within the law, we don't break the law. I'd like to thank our police and fire department and public safety sector for helping us become known as one of the safest cities in Arizona this past year. You know, that's quite an accomplishment. And uh, again, it comes back. I'd like to thank our town staff I wish I could give you all raises. I can't do it. I can tell you, though, that during this last six months or so, when the turmoil was going, you guys came together as a team, and you acted like the Cardinals. And we're going out winners just like they are. You guys put together. You worked with each other. Our budgets are tight. We know that. You've been able to accomplish a lot with, with less money and I really want to thank you very much. Now, the last one I want to thank is sitting down there. She got up and spoke to call the public, and she doesn't like to be talked about. But, and I think everybody on the council will agree that during this time of not having a manager, that Lisa has performed her duties as town clerk as referee and interim manager. 
She has kept us in line. We've been able to keep going. We got things done. Don't start crying. Hey, uh, I'd like to make a correction. We had a manager. Well, okay. Uh, we had a manager with an interim tag on it, but I, right. I, I don't. Uh, but she did one hell of a job. And I think that, and I know all the department had just love her when she told them you have to cut. I mean, I didn't, you know, I'd come after and I'd see some of those meetings you, Karen, you guys were at and Becky, and uh, I didn't see a heck of a lot of smiles coming out of that when the department heads left. But guys, Lisa, you did, you did great. And the town owes you a lot more than what we've been able to give you. But we really appreciate the job you did, and we look forward for another 20 years here at the town. Uh, you know, we're going to keep you around. As long as I'm around, I'm hoping you're around. And I plan to be here for another 32 years or so. Okay? And again, echoing the sentiments of the council, wishing everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, and as I said earlier, let's keep the real spirit of Christmas in mind. Let's just don't make it a commercial holiday. Let's really think about what Christmas is, especially in this time of turmoil in this world that we're living in. And that'll shut up me for a while. Need a motion? Make a motion. We adjourn to executive session. We have a motion and a second to adjourn to executive session. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the question. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Same sign.